What's up guys, welcome to the first Tutorial Tuesday and today what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is my new favorite way to cut textured bangs. Alright guys, like I said, this is my new favorite way to cut textured bangs. So, um, the first thing I want to do is give a shout out to my friend Ryan Teal who has a new YouTube channel called Hairdressing According to Me. Um, this technique was inspired by him. I've seen him do it multiple times on different types of haircuts. And now I'm going to use this technique to cut bangs. I'll link his channel below if you guys want to check it out. Now the sectioning for this cut is very simple. So all I did was I took a triangle section from the high point of the head down to the, the edge of the eyebrows, really the recession point. And then I go straight across with a horizontal line taking about a half inch parting from that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break up each section I'm taking down from that triangle so that I don't lose my guide. So I start off, I'm gonna create my guide. The technique that we're gonna do is a half open, half close of the scissor. And you notice how that gives it that really texture textured appearance, um, a textured feel to the cut. So I just do a half open, half close, keep the scissor right where it is. And I kind of pull the hair up into the scissor with my other hand. Um, and what that's doing is it's kind of chewing through that section and giving it not a perfect line. And that's going to give you that textured bang effect. So I just keep bringing everything, pinching the hair, bring it into the center. And because I'm over directing everything to the center, it's pushing that weight, that extra length off to the side. So you get that kind of curved effect of the fringe, almost like that curtain fringe feel. So that's a very popular popular look right now um, and this is a great way to to achieve it so I'm gonna go through another horizontal panel I bring it down I want to make sure I can see that bang that I cut underneath um, underneath the new section so then I just pinch it in my hand and I go through half open half closed it becomes a lot easier at this point because I've already cut my guideline and I just keep bringing everything over to that center and cutting through it you can see how it keeps it nice and light, um, textured, and brings that kind of builds that weight line and shifts it almost into that U shape um, to give it more of a trendy appeal. So same thing. Now I'll do a little bit more sliding with the scissor. It's not just keeping it stationary because the more you do sliding, the more texture, the more layering you're going to put in there and the lighter it's going to be. So um, same thing all the way through, just pulling that hair over to the center and chewing through it with the scissor. So as you guys can see, this is a very simple technique. It's what I love most about it. Anytime I'm trying to put a video out for you guys, I want it to be a technique that you can use in the salon and it's very simple and quick to get a great um, result. So you can see it's got a nice texture, nice movement. You got a nice guideline, just opening up the eyes a little bit. I go through with my Vibra Straight Iron, and then I'm going to use um, Carve Texture Cream, which is from Bricado by uh, Butopia Hair. Um, so if you want to pur purchase this product, a lot of people ask me where they can get it. Go to butopiahair.com. But I just use that to, to kind of pop that texture in there, and you can see the layers from the previous haircut kind of come through as well, almost like a little shag look to it. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you like uh, Tutorial Tuesday. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the very first Tutorial Tuesday. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that because we have new videos that have to do with hair coming out Monday through Friday. So thank you guys so much for the support, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Yeah.